This is a true story. Uh, as most of you know, last Friday, a reader of ours was able to uh, track down the Ariane Celeste issue of Playboy, which is available in certain parts of the country, I guess. So he, he quickly photo, photographed the pictorial. He sent us the shots. We posted them on the site. Everybody went nuts. People started flooding to Cage Potato. It was just lovely. But so, okay. The photos were up on the site for about four, four and a half hours. That's pretty much it. If you missed them, we're sorry. Uh, and that evening, I get an email from a UFC marketing manager. I'm not going to name him, but he says, Ben, give me a call. It's an emergency. So I kind of saw where this is going. Uh, you know, because Ariane, I don't know if you saw it, she had already gone on Twitter saying that some lame MMA site had ruined the surprise and she was upset. And we got a bunch of tweets like, ooh, you guys are in trouble. And uh, so, I, but I didn't want get, to get to that that point. So I called this dude back. He, he firmly but politely asked me to take the picks down. I told him, no problem. You know, it, it wasn't at that point where lawyers were sending cease and desist orders. I didn't want him to get there. So eventually he, he emailed me back and saying that he let Playboy know that we cooperated and things should be fine and whatever. I, I thought that was the end of it. So the next day, Saturday, around 2 p.m., the phone rings. I, I swear I wish I had the presence of mind to dig out my tape recorder, but it just happened so fast. And, okay, so I was like, hello, you know, this is the person on the line – I didn't know who it was. It was like a, a strange number, but in a very hostile voice, they're like, who's this? And I'm like, this is Ben. Who are you trying to reach? And the, and the person on the phone says, I'm trying to reach you. This is Dana White. So there's a bit of a pause that starts to sink in. I just knew this, this was not going to be good. I'm like, uh, yeah, hey, Dana. <laughs> he says, hey, <laughs> <Casually>. yourself. <laughs> like it happens every day. It happens all the time. And so the first thing he said was, what kind of a scumbag are you? So I, I was kind of stunned a little bit. Was that so, like an open it? Did you try to answer it or did you yeah. just leave it at that? Well, you know, a very specific kind of scumbag. Let me explain. No, I mean, I was just, I was like, oh my God. I, I just, I sort of, I knew I had to take a beating over the phone. So I tried to apologize about the situation, but I mean, there wasn't really much you could say. It's not like, I mean, I, I put the picks up and I took them down when we were asked. And that's, I mean, it was like, it's behind us now. But I mean, he, he wasn't really looking for an apology. He just wanted to yell at me for 20 seconds. So he, he calls me a scumbag. He, he told me to go fuck myself. He actually said something like, how could you do that to this poor girl? Which I, I almost yeah, laughed at. Girl. Yeah, that's it, right. But, and then the capper, and I'm just kind of like listening there. I'm just kind of sitting there. And then he's, uh, he says at the end, I quote, I'm going to fuck you up worse than you've ever been fucked before. So, uh, so that's pretty bad, but clearly he doesn't know how badly I've been fucked in the past. So <laughs> I wonder if he means uh, on a professional <laughs> level, you know, on a physical level, what, what? He wanted to keep that vague, I think, just to intimidate me. I mean, it could be a, it could have been a sexual level, for yeah. all I know. I just don't. I'm, getting, I'm looking over my shoulder. Anyway, I was like, whatever. Uh, not, certainly not a legal level. I mean, we 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 took the picks down. We did all they said. It's like whatever, you know. I, obviously, I understand he's. They're mad uh, that we we sort of put those pictures up before anybody else, and you know, you know, maybe the UFC was getting a cut of the sales. Uh, the, the issue is going to sell well no matter what. Believe me, it's, it's publicity. I used to work in magazines, too. I, I know how these things work. But basically, he just hung up after yelling at me, uh, and it was totally bizarre. And uh, and that's pretty much the end of the, the story of, of the time I per got personally yelled at by Dana White. Are you 100% um, convinced it was him? How yeah. You know, it wasn't me. It wasn't Chad. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't some random uh, cage potato, one of the guys from Potato Nation that got your number. You know this, you know, like his, his intonation, his voice, you could tell it was Dana? couple things uh <laughs> yeah i mean i think all of us who follow the sport and, and just been listening to interviews from dana white uh, know his voice very well by now and the way he pronounces the fuck word but also i mean i not that we have to do this but i still have the number it wasn't from an unlisted number I, i'm not saying we should call him on the air right now but if you wanted to confirm and you probably get his office or something like that <laughs> was there a point at the very beginning of the call that you were like bullshit this isn't dana white how'd you get my number there was uh, there was no point because I sort of in the back of my mind expected it yeah. in in a way, and you know I, I felt I did feel kind of bad. I mean we for a number of reasons we had just gotten a photographer uh, into the UFC event for the first time uh, in Indianapolis, Jason Wright, who did amazing work for us. That probably won't be happening again for the near future at least. And like you know in retrospect, I should have posted one or two of the Playboy pics instead of all of them that were sent to us. But like I said, the issue is still going to sell like crazy. I mean. It's like it's like every almost every comment was like, hey, I, you know, great picks. I'm going to buy the issue anyways. So like she just has that fan base and people are, are nuts for her and they want to see high, the high quality. I mean, we one of the reasons they were mad is because like the pictures we posted were just so low quality and they were just kind of photographed off the magazine and, you know, it, whatever. Pe people want to see the real stuff. So 
Uh, if anybody from the UFC or Playboy is listening to this, any way you'd like us to push the issue on our site or, you know, help you guys promote it, <laughs> I know, whatever. Well, we're up for it, so just let us know.